All right, we're going to see if this works any better or if it's just Periscope that's totally messed up. So, let me see what happens, guys. Oh, it's th working better now, I think. Yay! All right, yes, comments are showing up like they should. Let me share with people. All right. So hopefully he'll come in and take a peek at this. If not, I'll send him a message because I haven't really seen him a whole lot on Periscope lately. But I kind of wanted him to see the little puppy's face if he gets a chance to do so. So as I was saying before Periscope rudely uh, kicked me off and interrupted me. <laughs> this is a pet oil painting. And I'm doing it for an art trade with a friend of mine uh, named Chad. So he is going to give me some of his work in exchange for me painting his dog, Lucy Lou. So I decided since this was a um, an exchange, hi, Chanu, it totally froze and kicked me out, but I'm back. I'm more stubborn than Periscope. Yeah, I know. And now I'm working. I can see comments on my tablet now. So, who knows? Who knows? Anyway, I, see, I wanted to see if Chad was hop in here, but I haven't really seen him on Periscope a lot lately. So I'm not holding my breath. But I can send him the link and he can come check it out. So hi Chad from the in the future. I hope you like it. I hope you think it looks like Lucy. <laughs> anyway, so what you been up to sh today? Who else is all in here? Oh, I have four people now. Yay! Everybody say hi. I don't know who's here. I think some of them are from um, Twitter. So it's weird how they it's weird how they count them. I don't know exactly how the Twitter people count. So still learning how that one works. But I'll say hi to them anyway. Alright, so it gets really nice and dark right in here. Have you been working? Did you scope today? I've been too busy to watch it. I'm gonna watch later after I eat dinner. I'll have to check them out. I know it's a lot of work, but you're so blessed to be able to do it for work. I would, I would love, love, love for me to just be like, yeah, this is my work. Okay, that's what I thought. Hi, Deborah. I'm working on something else now. <laughs> I love my days off of nannying when I can uh, come in here and be creative. I'm having a creative day today. So I'm just kind of blending these in. Okay, I'm going to go look for it. You'll see my name in your replays, as always. I'm always playing catch up with everybody. In this, this summer has been crazy. There's, like, so much going on. And so I'm always, like, trying to catch up with everybody. <sighs> and then I, I'm trying to get on here so I don't lose contact with people. And, you know, it's a job, even though it's not my job yet. That's what I'm working towards. One day this will be my job. I'm not going to stop. I'm having so much fun. Yeah, I'm having so much fun doing this. I, I promised myself today. I, you know, well, first off, I said I promised myself to, like, put it out there. And then now I said, you know, even if it doesn't happen fast, I'm just going to pretend like it is and keep drawing. Nothing wrong with that. And actually, I have a couple stuff I sold. I had a commission that I just already did. So this is like my second thing that's not just uh, made up for me. So that makes me happy. <laughs> my friend Karen says, be careful what you wish for. She tells me that all the time. 
Hon, be careful what you wish for. No, it doesn't. Hey, she's hilarious. She always tells me that. She is. Be careful what you wish for, because one of these days you're going to be so busy, you're going to be like, why did I ever want to do this? <laughs> oh. And I was like, oh, that'll be a dream. Thank you. All right, so see, as I do the um, strokes, so you, I know you work with oil, Shanu. Is that how oils work? Like, they kind of just spread out a lot at first, and then you kind of have to build up a layer and um, then get your details in on top after that. Because I'm kind of like uh, building up layers of colors to keep my brush strokes. And the more layers I seem to like kind of go over, the more detail I've been able to sort of... Um, get. And I really don't know how real oils are supposed to act, so I'm just kind of, okay. Well, that's how they're doing on here, and I'm just kind of um, playing around with them to get the layers up, and I really love it. It almost has the um, impasto look where I can see, like, ridges. So these are, like, blending even after I'm done, and then, like, the color will get darker the more I put, like, a layer on it. So it's pretty cool. But at first they're real blendy, and I have to like really play with it to kind of get like these streaks to look like um, hair. Because you'll see like, watch, here I'll do this over here at first. Cause I, at first, like I paint like this, and then it'll just go whoop. So like if I go like this, I'll go and then it just, like, I, where I wanted to fill it in, and then it expanded out so far. Oh, my. Six months? Holy scrolly. I would never have the patience for that. Thank God for digital. So then I came on, like, with highlights, and those, like, blended in, too. So then I had to keep, like, messing with it until I got the, the nice bright color I wanted. And I was like, ah. Eh trying to get all my stuff situation waited and I had to go in and try to like line it on top of it to get a nice um, a nice line so I guess if I really want a nice sharp line I should probably use like the dry layer thing but I have I, I work in sections so like doing all the color and then coming back to do detail is kind of not the easiest thing for me to do Oh, well. Yeah, that would be hard for me to give them that much time. I'm sorry. Well, your painting's done, but now you have to wait six months for it to dry. Thank you. Wow. Oh, do they? They change colors, too? So, like, if you put it on and you're like, oh, I really like how that looks... It might not stay that way. I think this pretty much stays, like, this is really speeds up the drying process because the colors really haven't changed a whole lot after, you know, so much. But I really love how you could get, like, depth and light and color with um, the oils. I'm loving it. Like, these eyes, I loved it. I mean, I, I got a lot of light and color and stuff in there. I was like, oh, look at the eyes. I love it. And I'm all about the eyes when I do portraits. So that made me very happy. Oop. And see, then really, it's, it's going to be small because it's a full body portrait. So the smaller you get, like, it looks really crisp. Okay. Yeah, you could see it, like, well, you saw how it, like, just spread into the canvas like that on the digital. So, I'm still learning all that stuff. I'm still learning it. So, I'm just kind of, like, going through it and building up color. Yeah. 
Yeah, so I never did. I've never done oils for real in my life. So this is like I'm not really knowing what to expect. And I probably should have like went to my manual and read up on it a little bit. <laughs> But you know that makes too that makes too much sense, right? It makes too much sense to go read the manual and uh, learn what you know, learn how it all works. You know that that would be that would be uh, too sense. You know, make you know too much sense of doing that that way. <laughs> oh yeah, you know, yeah. I just jump in and say, yeah, I'll try it. We'll figure it out. We'll just figure it out. Yeah, knowing too much takes all the fun out, right? <laughs> but, you know, I look at the manual as like if I went to a class, I would have had a teacher sort of explain, like, how this, you know, the process of this works. And instead, I'm just like, oh, I'm just going to throw some paint down here and see what happens. <laughs> My husband's like, yeah. That's why digital's good for me, because I would have done that in real life, too. I would have been out there like, well, I don't know what colors I'm going to need, so I'm going to buy all these 20 colors of paint. And then I am going to try to play around with them, and I don't really know what I'm doing. I would have wasted so much money. <laughs> That's probably why he spent the money to get me this good digital program so I wouldn't be all frustrated and just say, damn it, and go out and buy like four or $500 worth of uh, paint that I didn't know how to use. Life with me could be interesting because I do stuff like that sometimes. Especially if I get frustrated. I'll be like all frustrated and I'll just be like, oh, forget it. Forget it. I'm just going to go out and buy this stuff. Forget it. Alright. So this is really dark right here. So I'm going to just... do doing very small. I want a little bit of light on the edge to separate it, even though it's not in the picture. I'm just like the inside of the ear. A little too far. I'll do it again. I got carried away. Put too much paint in there. So it's still bleeding. Okay. <laughs> oh, back to my first paint. I got a little carried away. Pressed too hard on my paint. Can you imagine me in real life, like, doing this? I'd have so much paint on there, it'd be, like, a mess. And then I'd probably have, like, what is it, turpentine all over the place. And, oh, my God. I'd get some weird disease because I didn't like properly handle my oil paints and then everybody who had anything I made would have something that was worth lots of money because I'd be dead. Alright. <laughs> You're like, oh... She went crazy. She went crazy from some oil paints. They drove her insane. I'll Van Gogh myself. All right. There's like a little ridge in this dog, so I'm kind of, I want a little darkness here. Let's see. Oh, that worked pretty good. To show a little contour of his fish. Now, Lucy here is a mix of a like a dachshund, 
beagle. I'm saying like miniature pin or something. I'm up to the ninth degree. But I've seen some video of her and she has her own Facebook page. So she's rocking it. All right. And see, I love how when I add the dark, it kind of gives my, gives a little bit of form here. Oh my God, what? What, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, what? Oh my god, what did I do? Did I do something wrong? Now I'm waiting. You have me on bated breath waiting for, oh my god. Your dog has her own page too? I, I am crazy about my dogs. My dogs don't have their own page. Though, they have sort of taken over my Instagram. I have, so now I have my art Instagram for me. And my Rila one Instagram is mostly um, dog pictures. Is Chad's dog the same breed? You have a dog this oh that's the same breed? A weenie something. I wanna get her little she has like this little uh wart like thing here. So I want to highlight that because it's kind of cute. I think it's cute. <sighs> I, think, I think her little her little hair wart is cute. Oh, yeah, I I don't know what, you know, I don't know for sure the mixing of the breeds. I'm guessing, I mean, he told me it was Dachshund. She has, like, a little long body. And then from the markings on her face, I'm thinking there has to be some kind of miniature pincher or Dobermanish or something in her. And, and her nose kind of looks like a beagle. So, thinking our little, uh, Lucy Lou here might be a little bit of a hot mess, but that's all right. So I want to make this little wart thing right here. She has like this little hair wart, and I love it. She's a little hair wart on her face. <laughs> I think it just makes her cuter. My dog, my, the breed of my dogs, we don't get little hair warts. So, I guess maybe that's why I think it's cute. <laughs> you know, like those little bumps the dogs have on their... Did your dog have any of those bumps? I appreciate all your tips on the um, oil painting, by the way. So, thank you. I've been learning as you talk to me about it. So any other comments and words of wisdom you want to uh, put out there? She doesn't have any words of wisdom you want to let me have, I'm willing to take. Because obviously I don't really know what I'm doing. Do, do, do. A little bit of the hair as it goes, like kind of in the shadow of the ear here. Okay. So, I need a little highlight in the ear. Yeah, it is, and you know, like even even just regular drawing. You know, I've been doing like drawing for a long time and then I came to start painting and I can see just from December like a big difference from the stuff I posted at the beginning to the stuff I'm doing now and that's exciting gotta always be learning you know Alright. 
want to be learning until I die. Uh, <clears throat> the light's giving weird colors. I'm trying to cap it in like purples and I'm like, no, I don't want purple. It's a little bit of a dark purple, but... Okay, puppy. It's like I'm going very, very light. I'm barely touching my stylist here. Because I don't want it to spread a whole lot. So I have to like go super light to get a little line. But I might be doing more oil paintings. What do you think? I think I'm doing pretty good. So, I want to see how they print out. So I can't wait to do this and then print it out. Okay, no problem. Probably, I'm probably not going to scope super long though because I have to go and actually... Well, we're just having leftovers today because there's so much food in my refrigerator. I can't even fit more food in there. And my parents are here this weekend, so. <laughs> Thanks. So I'm going to go and get uh, some dinner for my husband. He's already, he's kind of like, oh, there she is on that periscope again. Oh, Lord, what are we going to do? And, um, you yeah, know, he's been busy. He's been busy helping my son work on a car. And I was like, oh, here's a chance to get in here and maybe send a little bit of this out to um, Chad and have him see if this looks like his dog. So I'll copy the, the thing and give it to him. Look for his feedback. Because I'd hate to spend five hours and have him go, oh, that don't look anything like her. And then I'll have to like, be like, well, you are getting it for free, Chad. So just deal with it because I'm not redoing it. You either take it or you do not <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, Chad. Just kidding. I hope it does look like Lucy. And, hi, how are you? I was actually just going to leave in a little bit, but since you're here, I will stay for a little while longer. I am doing this for an art trade with our friend Chad. This is his dog, Lucy. I'm doing good. I've been just, you know, trying to teach myself this digital oil painting and trying to figure out how it works because I don't know anything about oil paints. <laughs> but yet I'm just jumping right in. You know, even though it's digital, this program, they really act like real oil paints. I mean, after I put them down here, they'll blend. I have to build up layers. Um, I've been funny all, all sorts of stuff. I just had Chanu was just here giving me some tips because she does oil paints. And I was like, okay, so that's how it works. All right, I guess it's not that bad. So I thought I'd, in, I'd experiment on a portrait on Chad's dog since it's an exchange and he's not paying for it. <laughs> so he gets the experiment. But I think it's coming out okay. I wouldn't give it to him if I thought it looked like crap. Have you ever digital oil painted? I've never oil painted either way. So, the thing I'm liking is I don't have to wait forever for this to dry. I can go right in and do my details, or I could tell the whole layer to dry, and I'm not waiting like 10 years for it to dry. And if you did, have you tried a long time ago? Well, I'm telling you, this this program is, um, I'm using Corel Painter 2016, and this is not your, 
This is not your uh, grandma's digital art program. And we were talking about that the other day. Like, um, Photoshop has the word photo in the title. It was really developed for photos. This is called Corel Painter. They totally um, designed this for painting. So my oils act like oils. They blend and um, even after I'm done painting them, they're still blending together. They blend and spread. Let me show you really quick. I'll show you. Ready? Let me make this bigger because I can erase it. That's one thing I would never be able to do. I would never be able to erase a real oil. So, like, if I draw this circle, watch what happens when I stop. Oh, I hit my thing. Sorry. <laughs> I moved it. It'll spread. And so then, like, if I come here and I go... La 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 la, and I paint. When I stop, see it spreads, and it's still sort of spreading on the paper. And so then, if I come in here with the white and put it on top, it's gonna blend in, and I have to layer it just like real, just like real oil paint. It'll still keep blending in. So it's kind of really cool. And then I get to do this. I could go undo, undo, undo. Or I can erase. Try doing that with whales. <laughs> yep. Alright, I want to make my eraser a little bigger so I can just, it's faster to erase than undo it. Back to our regular schedule painting. So here's the dog. This is my photo reference. That's kind of where I'm at. I think it looks like her. This is Lucy Liu, Chad's dog. Um, I'll probably come back and add a little more shading after I dry it to make this a little darker now that I'm looking through my camera. It was blending a little too much. Thanks. I'm still learning about how this stuff blends, so I'm still working on that. Oh, I want this to be smaller again. And this side of the ear has like some brown underneath the black. So I come in here and I do that. I want to get a nice edge here. And then I just put in hair strokes. And it's just a process of layering and getting your colors, I guess, just like how I would do it for real. So what have you worked on today? Anything? Now I want to add a little bit of this up here. See my little dog work? Need to have a little more of a highlight on it now. I think that it dried a little bit. So a little word on her face. All right, clean this up. Hi. How you doing, Dandy? Messing with this watercolors. These are watercolor. This is um for my friend Chad. This is his dog Lucy Lou. 
she's a uh, a wiener dog extra extraordinaire because she's mixed with who knows what. <laughs> I'm guessing some beagle, and I'm guessing um, some min pin or something. So since this is for somebody, I am being a little more picky on my markings on this dog. So that, of course, takes a little longer than a normal dog portrait, a little bit. Because you want it to look like that specific dog. I'm trying to get that little velvet color they get on their ears. I'm still learning. I'm still learning how these oils blend. So, to get my highlights and things I'm looking to add in here. Speaking of which, I fed my dogs. I don't know if they ate. And Coco's going to need food. Did you see it? Alright. So. I think this is coming along pretty good. Just let me erase this over here. I'm still learning how these oils kind of like spread out. So I'm sure when I put a background in, it's going to um, cause me a little issue. Because I'll probably see all the uneven edges afterwards. <laughs> I'll be like, oh. Let's see, like when I first put them down, they really spread a lot. I have to like be really gentle. So he has this under color. They are pretty much done with the face, guys. This is a face. I mean, I might soften this up a little bit. But I don't want to soften it up too much. So, I'm going to send this link to Chad and have him check out his dog's face before I do much more. And I am going to go heat up some leftovers for my husband so we can put new food in the refrigerator because we have no room in our refrigerator for any more food. My parents came this weekend so we have tons of food in our house now. <laughs> <coughs> Alright, so thanks for spending some time with me. Once again, if you're new here or you're watching the replay and you don't know, I'm Kathy Grillo, Kathy Grillo Designs. Please follow me. Send me some comments. Let me know what you think. Yeah, I have to go eat too. Um, it's a little late for us, but we've been busy. So, all my replay people, follow me. Introduce yourself. Say hi. And I'll see you out in the internet world. Thanks for the heart. Love you guys.